But I do want to push back on what David was saying about essentially saying that this is a problem that came from the Democratic side. And I would hope that we could take a little time off before we get to this. But the rhetoric out of the Republican side, out of Donald Trump himself or Don Jr. about the attack on Paul Pelosi, mocking him, making up a rumor that this was some gay sex event, right? And wasn't a terrible attack by someone who was politically motivated and could have taken his life. That is the genesis of this. This goes back to 2016. What do you think happened there? You don't want me to say it's not going to answer that. I I truly believe it's a sad situation. I hope who done it gets caught, which they said they caught him, but you know they kind of pin the tail on whichever donkey happens to be close. So it was. He was standing in the the house, uh, according to the. Uh, <laughs> but it's their story. It's always their story. They tell they don't tell tell the whole story. So. What would the you said two sides of every story? What would the other side be that people are talking about? I think he had a visitor and he just got a little carried away. What what makes you say what makes you say that? Say they think he has a friend and they just got a little bit out of hand with whatever they were doing, and accident happened. He fell and hit his head. So is that what you think happened? That he fell and hit his? I think it's all a cover up, and something happened more than what they're saying, and they're trying to put it off. You know, someone came in and actually attacked him. Okay. Okay. The speaker's husband was attacked. What do you think went went on out there? That is a, that's a flat out, it's, it's a, it's, you know what all-star wrestling is, it, you know, it's all, that, that's another fake thing, just to, just to distract the people. Let's, let's, let's do a little bit of investigation and don't put the FBI on it because that's, that's injustice. So you I mean, don't, we could talk all day. Yeah, but you don't believe it really happened, but basically. I, I, they have more, they have more security than that. And a lot of stuff I'm seeing, I don't watch fake news. I don't, I don't. But I watch the guys that have their lives on the line and or their livelihood. That's who I'm going to trust. I mean, it shouldn't take anchors from news stations or anywhere for us to explain that Donald Trump's rhetoric has absolutely created violence in America. I'm not here to pretend that what happened to or could have happened to Donald Trump should be normal in anybody's politics. We should never move to a space where people are shooting at politicians or people running for office. But two things can be true. And in this case, 2,000 things are true. Those 2,000, those other 199,000 things that are true is that Donald Trump and his minions run around this country being violent all the time. And we're not talking about it as if we didn't think this was an outcome. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Our country has had enough. We will not take it anymore. And that's what this is all about. What would you like to see Trump do on his first day in office? (laughs) (laughs) Pardon me. You said you want him to pardon you. What you. What would he have to pardon you for if you don't mind talking about it? January 6th. Were you at the Capitol on January 6th? Yes. And what, what do you, do you feel that's a motivating factor for your support is? Oh, no, because I got screwed like he got screwed. So I know how corrupt the, the system is. Right. I was wrongfully sentenced. And, and there's proof of that. When does your sentence, uh, when does it begin? I already did my sentence. I already did everything, yes. Yeah. Do you have regrets about January 6th? I didn't do anything wrong. I walked through what the cops showed me. That's why I didn't charge my trespassing, because I walked through what the cops showed me. Right. And so you, so you don't have, do you, do you feel like, the former president's responsible at all for what happened that day? Trump? No, not at all. Capitol Police are responsible. Said if he didn't win the election, it was going to be a bloodbath. His words. He talks about the Civil War as if it's a game and how it can happen again. He's talking about what's going to happen. He's creating this false sense of insecurity in our institutions in this country. All of them, not just the election, Department of Justice, the FBI, everything is People are enemies of America. They're coming for him. They're unpatriotic. We are pretending as if this happens on both sides. It does not. The rhetoric from the left is not about the institutions of this country. It's about the corrupt nature of Donald Trump and the Republican Party at this moment. Those are facts. Those are facts. Donald Trump, January 6th is a great example. He wanted this. He wanted National Guard to shoot 
protesters outside of the White House. But he didn't send National Guard to protect elected officials when he sent his supporters to go hang Mike Pence. Their words, I will say it again, hang Mike Pence. Donald Trump started this. The politics in America have never been humane, but the level we are at right now is not anyone's fault except Donald Trump. I refuse to play the ridiculous game that everybody else is tiptoe around the fact that Donald Trump I in the spot we find ourselves at with our politics and the rhetoric. What was supported and is supported by MAGA is violence. Violence. That's a, this is not a coup from the left. This was a Republican on that roof who tried to assassinate a political candidate. It was a Republican. America has not benefited by this violence on the right. It is, it is not just physical violence that they advocate. They advocate violence in every form. Talk about anti-wokeness, DEI. Everything is an attempt to attack someone other than white people in this country. They have made white people a people who swear everybody else's victims feel like victims and all they do is cry and complain. I am saddened that someone took a shot at Donald Trump. I am also saddened that Donald Trump exists in our political space and has created this moment. Amanda Robinson, I refuse to buy into the bull.